I'm gonna speak my mind. Yeah, I'm not, you know, hammer drunk or nothing like that. I'm sober as a skunk or so, so saber tooth tiger almost. Hey, <laughs> back to the southern logic. She thinks that uh, all farts smell the same, and uh, I disagree. It has to do with how well a person takes care of themselves, have what they eat, how good they look, their appearance, their genes, what their nose is shaped. It's all complicated and all. If she's really attractive and appealing, and she does take care of herself, it's not going to be unpleasant. The smell's going to be fucking sexy and cute and uh, a turn on. Fantasize and think about having a hot chick fart in my face because I think that would turn me on. And I often get depressed because I don't get to experience these things. So I would even let a hot chick shit on me. I don't even fucking care. She could piss on me, cold showers, brown showers, scat. I don't care. If she's hot, she could throw up on me. I, I, I have some sort of high standards, but... Tickle? I let a chick tickle me, tie me up, gag me, mouth gag me, even uh, fuck with my prostate. Anyways, I seen a video though, this chick was licking this uh, hot chick's uh, navel or belly, getting an orgasm from it. I'm like, ooh, this is hot. Some people have smoking fetish, some are in the midgets. She's hot, I practically would let her. <laughs> the sky's the limit. <laughs> She's taking that nice aroma, scent, fragrance, odor, smell. Chicks with no arms or wheelchairs, handicap, I've seen it all almost. I've seen it all. I just don't want to get too overly, you know, detailed and graphic. I mean, 